Um, hi guys, so today will be part two of storing, um, I, I got the final number, is 650 <laughs> plus photo cards into my binders. So this part two is going to be strictly TXT, it's going to be OT5 TXT. So as you can see, this is what, 650 photo cards. I think I have 656, 650 photo cards looks like in here so i already sorted them by like era and type of card so we just have to oh that's heavy store them so um is this what is this what is this what is this okay so first this is my ot5 binder that i got from me out cafe or this is really big let me see to check oh lord to make sure everything is in frame okay it is so um the first set that we have to store is um light stick version 2 um photo cards i did buy it so i have the mini tour size cards and again i always store an age order so let me see, can you guys see that? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to keep checking because like I said, I've only filmed a couple videos with my little mount thing and this is the first one I filmed um, storing photo cards. So it's gonna be a learning experience. Um, oopsies. Okay, so that's all I have for mini tour size cards. So now, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. So I have decided to sort this by era. So obviously these are 15 pocket pages that I have, so they can fit three sets on one page. So let me see, that's boy next door. I'm sorry, I'm sorting through my little box of cards. Okay, oh Jesus, this is a lot of cards. I know it's gonna look so nice when I finish and I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So the oldest era that I have, um, most of these are basically just pop sets and merch cards. So the first set that I have um, are some freeze pops. I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay. And I think this is the only set I have for freeze, yeah. For older eras, I don't really have much. It's more so Temptation and Freefall that I have more for. Let me see, make sure you guys can see this. Okay, yeah okay so that's all i have for freeze and so now this is temptation not nah, lord jesus <laughs> fighter escape era this is actually going smoothly and i love it okay and i have two sets for fighter escape era let me move closer Ooh, my back sorry <laughs> Backs all messed up from epidurals. <laughs> okay, so that is all I have for freeze and fighter escape. Oh, it looks so pretty! Ooh, I can't wait to flip back through this. Okay, so I just put these in so this is the same. So now, um, this is a merch set, but it's from um, no, it's not a merch set, it is a pop set. It's from Minnesota to Thursday's Child. It's the only set that I have for that era, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, okay, so we're already getting into, so this isn't a pop set, but 
I decided for my OT5 and OT6 collections, I would just do it by error. So I don't really care about mixing a merch card and album card. So this is the, oh, oh no. Why did I do that? Oh my God, this is free fall. Hold on, oh, I messed up, I messed up. This is literally free fall error, hold on. I don't know why I haven't mixed in with Temptation. Um, yeah, um, okay. So for Temptation, I have a set of broadcast cards to start it off. Because for I didn't start collecting OT, well, I say this all the time, but I didn't even start collecting photo cards until a couple of like July of last year. So whenever I got Subin's Temptation cards, I didn't bother trying to get the other member stuff. I didn't start doing that until when Freefall came out because that was my first era where I was collecting and pre-ordering and stuff. So oops. Okay. So have this first pop set it's technically not the same but um they're both holo they're called holographic so i put this subin card along with my unit cards that i have for temptation okay and then there's that sure what store this set is from some of them don't have the names on there but um doo -doo 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 -doo. i've talked so much today because this is like the third or fourth video that i'm filming today so i don't even know what to talk about i think my social battery is running out <laughs> my back is hurting i'm just ready to be done and have it all my binder it's gonna look so pretty but let me see, I'm trying to think of, oh, I've been re-watching my demon again and I just love it. It was so good, but um, oh, that's one thing I guess I can talk about like dramas and stuff. Um, Am I the only one who's like in a K-drama rut? Maybe with the newest K-drama I won't be, but I'm not watching it yet. I'm waiting for more episodes to come out, but essentially ever since like Twinkling Watermelon and um, my demon ended for me i haven't really had much interest in other dramas i tried watching them they were okay i don't know okay but yeah but one drama that i am that's airing right now that i am excited to watch but i'm trying to wait for more episodes to come out before i watch it before i be fiending because i was fiending so bad for new episodes for my demon is um What is that called? I forgot. But it's the one where the guy is secretly gay, but he has to get married to get his inheritance. So he marries his best friend. But then his brother ends up falling in love with her. It's called Marriage Impossible. Yeah, it's called Marriage Impossible. So that's, um, I'm really excited about that. It seems good. The clips that I have seen, I'm just trying not to, Lord, what am I doing? watch it yet because again i hate when i get into a k-drama and it gets so good and then i'm fiending every week for episodes that literally happened to me a lot last year like hidden love when i fly towards you my demon all that every time those shows came out i was like oh my god i need another episode so i was really impatient so i'm trying to wait till at least uh, more episodes come out but so far from the clips and stuff i've seen of it it did not disappoint Another show that I actually am excited for is Lovely Runner. I'm excited about that. I like the female lead. I always call her by the name of the character that she played. And um, I don't remember what the show was called. Girl, I can't think right now. Uh, the show that she was in with Roboom. I call her Deno, Deno, but that's not her real name. I don't know her real name, but she's in it. And the guy who played in 24th Century Girl, who also was just in... Um, strong girl something i'm soon i forgot what her name was but i like him and i like her so i'm excited to see them paired together 
so that's the one drama i'm looking forward to in all honesty i don't know what it is i don't know if it's a psychological thing but i've noticed that it's happened to a lot of people it's like for some odd reason i really am only fully entertained right now by bls um okay so that was all the pobs that i have okay so i'm gonna put pobs and merch cards separate i didn't even think about that but uh i don't know like i'd be trying to go back and watch like my regular little korean or chinese dramas and i'll just be bored a bit i don't know i've literally re-watching bad buddy right now and i'm just having so much fun i said this before but i can re-watch bad i've re-watched bad buddy at least once a week and i never get tired of it i love it um same with my school president i think i'm gonna re start re-watching that tonight but i don't know i've been trying to watch like like i started re-watching hidden love and it's entertaining me more than other shows but i don't know i can't really focus and i'm just like eh. so then i just go back to watch bad buddy or something <laughs> um but I did start rewatching When I Fly Towards You, and I think that has my attention more. It's kind of solidifying to me that, personally to me, I did like, I like the pairing better in um, When I Fly Towards You. Like, both couples have really good chemistry and everything, but I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just something about the way Ron Ron love him, some Suzai that gets me with that show. Puts me in my feels. I love them. <laughs> I rewatched it. I'm just like, ugh. Girl, get your band. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just really love it. But oh yeah, I guess I just talk about random stuff. I have been trying to like think and compare. I guess, cause like since I'm like into BLs and stuff, and they usually do ships where they usually stay together. I was wondering like who, like what pairings of different like K drama or like C drama actors that have been in the dramas together do i like better or not so um i don't remember everybody's names because for a lot of these actors i don't even be i be calling about their character's name so the guy who played ron ron <laughs> and when i fly to you i've watched three other dramas with him in it i believe if i'm not mistaken um i watched three other dramas with him in it so i watched I don't remember what it was called, but it was like an older one where he was allergic to like sugar and he had a crush on his childhood friend or whatever who was a bit older than him. So there was that one. Um, I watched him. Um, he was one of the side characters and uh, Fall Into Your Smile. So I watched him with that girl that he was paired with. And then I watched him with the girl that he was paired, obviously with Sue Zaza, with um, the girl who plays Zazai, and also the girl that he was paired with in um, You Are My Desire. And I'm just going to say it hands down, he has the best chemistry with um, Zazai. I don't know, they just, they were amazing together in that drama. Literally amazing. And um, for her, for the girl who plays Zazai, I've only watched... I just tried watching one of her newer dramas. I did not like it. It was okay. But um she I've seen Exclusive Fairy Tale where she was paired with June. She had like some short um drama or whatever. I don't know the guy that she was paired with, and then I've seen her and um recall. And of course I think she had the most chemistry with Ron Ron, but what I will give her her and June had amazing chemistry. Can we just talk about how June ate? He ate, okay, for the role for Exclusive Fairy Tale. To say it was his first acting job, he did amazing. Okay, I love that show. It was really good. When I first watched it, I didn't really get my hopes too high because I watched the drama where Win Win was in and I did not like it. I think Win Win did a good job acting. I just think the writing was like, and it was a pretty boring show to me, so. So I assumed the same thing was gonna happen, but I love the exclusive fairy tale in June. Oof. He did so good. Their chemistry together was amazing. It it was up there, but it didn't necessarily touch 
the chemistry that she has with Ron Ron, but they did amazing together. And I wouldn't mind seeing them in other drama together. Um, my favorite um, Chinese actor, Lin Yi, um, he is in like four different dramas this year. Um, one of them is airing right now. I don't know who the girl who he's paired together with. I have not started watching it because I'm waiting for more episodes to come out. Um, he's in one with Esther. If y'all know her, she played in Moonlight. Um, and she was the lady who played the fairy and Love Between Fairy and Devil with Dylan Wayne, which I love. Um, but I'm so excited for them to be paired together because I love me some her. I love Esther. She is so pretty. She's a good singer. She's a good, I just love, most dramas, I just love her personality and everything. And I love her whenever she plays her character. She'd be so adorable. So, oops. So yeah, the, they have one coming out together. The girl who played uh, um, in Unrequited Love and she played, um, she also played, the girl who played Shansai, Meteor Garden. Uh, they have a drama coming out. It's called Smile Code. I'm really excited about that because she's a great actress. She's been in a lot of really popular big um projects um she's kind of a veteran at this point and i'm excited to see like how they interact and how their chemistry is together and i like the synopsis of the drama so i'm excited about that and then he has another drama coming out with i don't know who the girl is that he's gonna be in the drama with but um i don't think i'm excited about that one just because the story synopsis it seems like he's gonna die and i'm gonna be sad but to basically i preface that to say he's been he he's acted with a lot of different actresses you have rookie actresses veteran actresses and i would have to say hands down his the, the one that he has the most chemistry with was the couple the lady that he played in, with in love scenery uh, amazing oh this is heavy amazing just I love Love Scenery. It's one of my favorite Chinese dramas. It's my favorite Lin Yi drama. I've rewatched it plenty of times. I might even rewatch it tonight. Um, since I've been in like a K drama, C drama rut, I, it might take for me to rewatch that to be in a good like you know to be like yeah, cause that's that's my drama. I've never rewatched a uh, Love Scenery and been bored. So, but yeah, they have the best chemistry. But I would say second to me personally would have to be. Um, this would have to be um I don't know her name but uh put your head on my shoulder um she well, she's played in a lot of dramas and I really love her too um but yeah they they were really good together that was actually his first acting role and I think they did a really good job together um ooh, excuse me I'm gonna have to add another page but i think they did a really good job together and like i said that was my first drama where i ever saw when he um and i loved it and that kind of made me fall in love with him and i've watched every single drama he's been a lead in ever since hold on yeah i've watched every single drama he's been a lead in ever since then lord i'm sorry i should have did this earlier <laughs> but i'm trying to think for dylan wang for me i think the chemistry that he had um, most with was uh the girl who played shansa and meteor garden i actually really loved them together and then for her surprisingly actually I think she had the most chemistry in Mr. Bad with um, the guy. I'm sorry, y'all, because I don't remember everybody's names. And Chinese names are a little more harder to pronounce for me. So I just tend to rem memorize people by the characters they played. So I think that the um, guy who played um, Jaisha in um, Hidden Love, his best pairing was, I mean, um, Sean Sai's best pairing was him. And his best pairing was uh, 
Rose in Hidden Love. Um, and I think for her too, because I've watched plenty of dramas with her in it too. I think her and um, the guy who played Joshua just did amazing together. Okay, so that is all that I have to um, store for TXT. So the rest of my videos will also be split into parts and I'll just post one a week um, to like, split it up because this is a lot. So um, stay tuned for part three if you are interested and thank you for whoever decides to watch my video and have a wonderful day.